So this was just an impromptu trip for Mother's Day to the Nashville Zoo. It was Sunday, we knew it was gonna rain, but we thought we were gonna be able to kind of skate by since it was nine o'clock in the morning. I was just wanting to try some stuff out, you know, play with the camera, play with some new equipment. So nothing is, is great. Like, it's just one of those things I was learning and that's exactly what I wanted to do with this trip. Things kind of went off the rails and some fun stuff happened a little bit later though. You'll find out. the day this is the last thing that actually was really calm. I don't know if you know a whole lot about kangaroos. They are chaos in a living being. You see a little dude in the back, right? Okay. So check this out here in just a minute. More little dudes. Okay, that's pretty calm. This guy just completely blocked up the whole thing. You see a little chick with the, the cast. This dude's just chilling in his own food bowl absolutely just no regard for anybody else this dude buzzed me and the baby like seven times like full blast all right so we see a little girl and a little little broken kid apparently that's a thing they are literally trying to get this thing to stop and now we move on to something a little bit different Things had been okay until we got to this particular exhibit right here. Because this is where things go off the rail. My mind was blown with the introduction of something. The monkey bathroom. So we're going through the Andean bear exhibit. This is where they have the guinea pigs, right? Yeah, on the other side. On the other side? On the other side. Because the guinea pigs are also native to the Andes now. There's that weird little deer goat thing. Oh ah, yes, the Odo. <laughs> and we have the, the very rare baby eating a It's the baby bear. Are we uh we waiting in line to go see that bear? We are. Are you sure? We'll, we'll do a flyby and make an assessment. Okay, so I'm going to go in the bathroom and take a picture for the monkeys. <laughs> okay, so in case you didn't notice, my wife says that's okay. I have to use the bathroom with the monkeys. I thought this was an odd comment, but no. Hey, there are monkeys in the bathroom. There, there are monkeys. And to my astonishment, there are live, actual, factual monkeys, like an exhibit in the women's restroom. So my mind gets to wondering, what's in the men's room? And I was severely disappointed. My wife has informed me that there is a monkey exhibit in the women's restroom. We get nothing. And in regards to fun, Mother Nature had other plans. So we were going to go see the reptile exhibit and all that fun stuff in the building here. But it's going to rain. Thundering. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to call it and phone it in. <laughs> but due to my undying perseverance, all was not lost. So the joke, I found it. Now 
I'm no herpetologist, but I do believe this Boland's python to be a tongue-in-cheek way to make every man feel inadequate. Mother Nature won this round, but we will come back. Actually, a week later, we came back. With the forecast checked and given the all clear, we left for day number two at the zoo. And we were met on the road there by, by rain. It rained on the way in. We can't get away from rain. We were determined. First place we were going because we had missed it the last two times was the reptile house. The unseen new world. Until flamingos. Just walk in the sidewalk. You know, you gotta walk your flamingo. The moment of my ascension has happened. And I completely goof out and like forget to get any decent footage. Like I get some pictures, I get a couple of things. They're, they're, I just completely dope out and I'm like, ooh, look, snake, and that's it, I'm done. He's telling us he loves his tiny home because they're perfectly happy hunting in one spot for weeks at a time. And he has fishies. We could have spent all day in the Unseen New World, and I can make a 20 minute video of all the stuff in there, but we need to move along because there's so much more to do. we decide to pay visit to our good friend, the Sumatran Tiger. Now, there are apparently two of them here at Nashville, and they don't allow them at the same time because they are territorial. And we were greeted with another impressive viewing. And yeah, we get to go through our favorite exhibit again. Thank you. 
Now, unfortunately, during this trip, the bear was a little bit too far back to get a good look at him. We do see the exhibit within the exhibit with some arowanas and a caiman lizard. And yes, that is a whole daggum guinea pig village. And this is the exit to the Peruvian presented by the First Foundation. So when it comes to the Nashville Zoo, I'm being vague on purpose because A, this wasn't a trip to make content for a video. This was just a family trip for Mother's Day, which kind of went into another week, which kind of devolved into making a video about some of the things that were there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with some parting shots of some of the animals that I have left over, such as the flamingos, and there might be one or two other ones smattered in there. But I want you to get out and I want you to go. It's, it's not that bad of a drive. You know, it's in the middle of Nashville. Go have fun. Enjoy the rest of your day.